Hello everyone, and welcome back to TSN or the Sasuke Nerds. I'm your host Shane, and for the first time in months, we have actual Sasuke news to cover ahead of the 41st tournament. Some of it is exciting, while other parts are... a little worrisome, to say the least. With that said, let's get right into the details. For starters, Sasuke Koshin released a lot of information regarding its format. The event allows high school students split into teams of three to battle for spots on Sasuke 41. Thanks to an article posted on Yahoo, we now know that Sasuke Koshin will be split into a bracketed tournament. The first two rounds consist of teams racing on agility-based courses, and the final two teams will compete on actual Sasuke obstacles, similar to the finale of the Sasuke 40 trials. The winning team will earn spots on Sasuke 41. It's important to note here that teams don't have gender requirements and can be mixed however they please. Applications close on September 8th, and it's marked on the TBS website that filming will take place in early October, though no specific date has been mentioned, at none other than the Midoriyama studio lot. It's great to see more trials for Sasuke are being held, as new competitors are something the show is desperately in need of. Speaking of trials, it was announced on the official Sasuke social media accounts that Sasuke 41 would be holding trials, just like Sasuke 40. Applications closed on September 25th, and the competition is set to take place on October 7th. While no other information has come out, it's interesting to see that A&W competitor Donovan Matoyer, who recently went to Japan for an exhibition event in Japan, recently posted himself studying the trials for Sasuke 40 possibly hinting that he'll be participating. We'll find out if he's there, and who knows, more familiar faces could show up at the trials. The trials are going to be super important moving forward, as Sasuke may have also lost some of its most popular competitors. Recently, Kieran Holdings, a notable sponsor of Sasuke, announced that they would be no longer partnering with stars from Johnny & Associates due to their reviews of allegations of the late founder Johnny Kitagawa sexually abusing young boys. While none of the Johnny stars on Sasuke are under question for being criminals, this does put Sasuke in an interesting spot. Either they keep the sponsor that's been hanging their banner on the final stage for years, or they keep the likes of Hikaru Iwamoto, Ryochi Tasukata, Rene Sugeta, and Hideki Ajima. It's a tough choice between money and ratings. What will Inui decide? Who knows? What we do know for sure, however, is that with shifting allegiances and new stars on the horizon, Sasuke may be entering a new era. What do you think about all this? Are you excited for Sasuke 41's upcoming trials? Are you worried about some of Sasuke's biggest celebrities potentially not returning this year? Be sure to comment your thoughts, and while you're here, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on TSN.